History made as Real Housewives of Miami has first lesbian housewife. After an eight-year break, the Real Housewives of Miami are back and ready for, to bring the Florida heat while making some franchise history with the first out lesbian housewife, Julia Lemigova. There have been other housewives who have come out during their time on the show, but Lemigova is the first to be out from the outset, something queer fans have been eager to see for years. After all, who, who brings the drama better than a lesbian? <laughs> 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 and from the looks of the trailer, there's no shortage of it heading directly to our screens from the Sunshine State. For those unfamiliar with Lemigova, she's a former Russian beauty queen and is married to pro tennis player Martina Navratilova. Unlike her co-stars, Lemigova is more comfortable outside the city limits. Julia runs a small farm outside of Miami and can be found on the farm feeding the chickens or m milking the goats amongst the menagerie of animals found on her property. According to Bravo, watch this. I'd like to know who here you trust the least. Marisol asked, so you can start. I think I trust Nicole the least. Marisol, you are bored in your life. Who the f are you? Stay out of it like you normally do. Buckle up, baby. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. <laughs> this season on The Real Housewives of Miami. But you never thought you'd see me again. Wow. It's the largest penthouse in the US. How much am I paying for this? 50K a night. This is the best city in the entire world. Living in Miami, you can be you, and people are accepting. Martina Ritzloa, she's my wife. Surprise! I feel like Adriana is like a mosquito. I just want to like swat her wedding day. So, let me go the had a farm. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. That pussy can talk. <laughs> now, of course, my question is, with our two uh, Miami Beach movers and shakers at the table, which of you are going to be on the show in an episode? Well, <laughs> I, I haven't even worked, my, tried to worm my way into it, but I'm sure you have. <laughs> um, no. No, you don't hang out with no. the Real Housewives? Not really. Um, I was on Love and Hip Hop, but... Uh, not, um, oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. You and Cardi B? When you, you get her on the show. Do you remember when uh, Kim Solciak was, and the, because she was with uh, the Tracy Young drama back from Housewives of Atlanta? Yeah. So that was kind of a, one of the first big lesbian brouhaha's, I think, on the, on the, on the brand. Mm -hmm. right. But this is a uh, full on out, which I think is really pretty cool. That part of it is cool. I'm just not interested in the whole franchise. It's just yeah, never. Franchise Like, I didn't know it was here and gone and back. It's like no big deal to me. Eight years. It's been gone for eight years? That's what well, they've had enough plastic surgery, you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> they need a Real Housewives of Wilton Manors, that's what they need. The Real House Boys. Yeah, that's more like what it'd be. Mm -hmm. okay. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ.